Yo, what's poppin' people, Cobra Star Green, back with you in another video. If your first time finding my channel, you love power, stuff like that, you guys make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. All that video really does help me like the video. But yes, we talking about episode two of Raising Canaan. Did I like it? Did I not like it? Well, you about to find out. Let's get right into it. We got a problem. 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 It's probably you. Yeah, we got a problem. We got a problem. So let's just get right into that as you guys can see from today's scroll to my power book three. Now, first thing I'm gonna say, I'm gonna kinda go out of order here, but I really wanna know just my just my preference before we get anything too deep. I really wanna know what's behind this goddamn door right here. You know what I'm saying? Now, they probably won't end up telling us what it is until maybe episode five or something like that. But I was intrigued. I was like, hold on, Kanan. I need you to get behind that door because I want to see what the hell's behind it. That was just some little quick thoughts for me. Now, I'm not going to lie. Off of this episode, I do have my favorite character in the show. Now, I don't know right now. You guys might be throwing out guesses. But I'm telling you uh, who my favorite character is. His real name in real life is uh, Land Land London Brown. But y'all might know him as a certain name in the show. Hopefully, I don't get this name wrong. But like I say, he's my favorite character in the show, at least so far. And that is Marvin. Man, he makes me laugh. Every, especially when he was in a club with that white girl. I don't know her name. I'm sorry. But man, Marvin was so funny in those scenes. And especially when he gets arrested, he's like, you know what I'm saying? I'll do anything for my girl. You know, I, I was like, yo, I'm rocking with Marvin. I'm rocking with Marvin. Man, I, I don't know. Look, man, call him a simp. Call him what you want. But I call him a goddamn brother. I like this. You know, he's definitely so far my favorite character. I, it was angle lot. It was Kanan at first. But just watching this last episode, oh Marvin get Marvin gets it. This is definitely Marvin. Now, um, let's talk about some other things that happen in the show. Uh, I'm gonna just you know kind of go out of order a little bit, but just you know you guys know what I'm talking about if you guys seen the episode. Now I remember last week they was uh they went to they was at first base. They didn't really go too far with this. They just hinted at some things, but uh, in episode two they said, oh yeah, we hitting a home run. Knock it out the goddamn park now, will you? I, I'm going to say, I did not think it was going to happen so fast, you know? I did not think they was going to get to smooching this goddamn early. I, I was thrown off. I said, yo, they doing this in episode two? Now, that this has me worried because Jukebox is so attached to this girl. I wonder. And you know, Power ain't afraid to do it neither. I wonder if this girl will end up getting killed off. Not Jukebox, but the white girl. You know, I wonder if she's going to get killed. I hope she don't. Because I just like, you see a different side of Jukebox. Then, you know, how, when we knew Jukebox in power, we always, we always knew her as that dirty cop, that the chick that was a savage. She was pretty much the, 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 the female version of Kanan, you know? I wonder if if this girl dies and that's what takes jukebox over the edge, you know? Cuz at the same time as we're as we're getting um Kanan's origin story and seeing how he becomes a psychopath and a killer, at the same time we're going to be getting jukebox too, you know? So they're going to slowly put that in there also so but I, I wondered, I wondered cuz this is so it hap it's hap everything's happening so fast. So I just wondered about this. I'm like, damn, they kill off this girl. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised they did it. I ain't going to lie. But that's just something I was just thinking about. I was like, bro, they, they showing people mooch, smooching this early. Usually ain't a good thing. Um, now, let's talk about the start of the episode. Because like I said, I went out of aura a little bit. But at the start of the episode, we see... And just so y'all better know who I'm talking about. Because if I say some names, y'all might not know who I'm talking about. But uh, we saw at the start of the episode that, uh, well, Kanan's mom, she was a little shook. 
You know what I'm saying? She didn't want Ken. She she didn't want Ken doing certain things. She said, "Look, bro, at the school you going here, you know." So we see a different side of her, and I'm pretty sure to Kanan it's a whole different side because Kanan caught his first body, which I got. I said it last week. I did not expect us to see Kanan catch his first body so early, you know. But yes, I we saw her shook. Now another thing I'm talking about. Next thing I'm talking about, man, this is a character. I was saying in my predictions earlier that I thought we'd see a lot more of in this episode. I mean, we did, but that don't really mean much. He was only in the last episode for about two minutes. I think he was in this episode for about three minutes. But that was Omar Epps. You know, Omar Epps is a very talented actor, a very great actor. Um, and it was kind of cool to see that he's going to be... His name in the show is Howard, Detective Howard. But it's going to be kind of cool... To see that he's gonna be working with uh Joey Badass's character pretty much and trying to take down Raquel. So I wanna see what they do with that, you know, with with those two working together. You know, I don't know how long it's gonna work. I did say in my predictions that he'll that uh Detective Howard will probably be the one to get Kanan, Kanan out of trouble. You know, he'll probably be Kanan's scapegoat a lot of the times. But I wanna see what, what I wanna see more. It's just me. I wanna see more of Omar Epps. Now I know it's the first two episodes. But damn, he's a detective. You got a murder to solve. I want to see more of you, my guy. That's just all I'm saying. I want to see. But I'm pretty sure we'll end up seeing more of his character. Because they got to build up his character, too. And he's a very t talented actor. Uh, Mar Omar Epps. Very talented. So, I'm pretty sure we'll be seeing more of him. But I, I just... As that was one thing. I was like, okay, you setting up this Joey Badass uh, Detective Howard thing. I'm rocking with this. To take down the big bad, which is Raquel. I right, will. And in their eyes, she is. Um, another thing I want to talk about in the episode, not too much to talk about this week, uh, at least for me, because this well, I said it earlier, I feel like episode two and episode three will be a filler, you know, but at the same time, um, when it comes to filler episodes, right, I think this is as good as you can get when it comes to a filler, because there was something big that happened at the end of the episode, you know? But this was still a filler episode, a more of an episode to get to know the characters a lot better. Like I said, we got to know a little bit Howard and his motivations a lot better and his intentions a lot better. Um, we've been new Joy Badasses, Raquel, we got to know more of her, Kanan, what he wants to do. So this is more of a filler episode. But at the same time, if you're asking me, I feel like these two episodes of Power Book 3 are ain't, is, is, is better than Power Book 2. I'm sorry. Hey, Kemp, don't hate me. Tyree, don't hate me. But I feel like these two episodes we have gotten so far from, from Power Book 3, I feel like it's, it, 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 it's, better. it's better than Power Book 2. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't, don't, shoot, don't shoot me. But I definitely think it's better than Power Book 2 so far. I, I, I'm sorry. I think it's a better story so far. You know, it's better camera work. Let me get on that. When I say camera work, when I, when I review movies and I review TV shows, I like to look at camera work because I want to be able to do camera work later in my life. I want to be able to do some stuff around cameras and stuff. So whenever I see scenes like this, I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. But when I see scenes um, like this where they're just having a camera... Focusing on one person and then they're focusing on another person. Let me find that exact moment really quick. I had it wrote down in my notes. Um, oh, okay, I found it right here. But this is what I'm talking about. Whenever they have a camera on one person and they end up focusing it on another person. Like, for example, this right here. You know, I like I like that. You know, I don't know. I just that's just something personally me. I like when they can show you exactly who they're focusing on. You know, I just it's just small little details that I like. Uh, I'm not gonna go too too much longer with this, um, but I do want to say, as a filler episode, as an episode that you know, uh, it was. Let's be honest, it wasn't as good as episode one. But at the same time, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I didn't think it would be good, as good as episode one because episode, episode one was so crazy. It had episode episode one to me really felt like three ep, ep, three episodes in one. So I didn't believe that episode two was gonna be as good. 
But at the same time, I still loved episode two. I found my favorite character in episode two. You know, I'm I'm hyped, and I'm I could say I could perfectly say I'm more I'm more hyped for Power Book three than I have been for Power Book two, and not Power because Power is my show. But I'm way more hyped for Power Book three than anything right now. Um, now it was sad, and at first I couldn't even figure out why the hell they were doing such a thing. Um, but I'm gonna talk about it real quick. The last five minutes of the episode, you, I mean, we've been knew it was gonna happen whenever, uh, he didn't end up going over to Kanan's house. So I will, I mean, we been knew he was gonna end up, uh, dying. Um, y'all gotta, y'all gotta forgive me. What is this boy's name, man? I gotta, I gotta think of this dude's name. Hold on. Kanan's best friend. Y'all, I know, I know y'all were in the chat saying it right now, but hold on. Oh, y'all, I know y'all are saying it right now, but I gotta get his name right. I gotta get his name. Um, I cannot find his name. Okay, but y'all know, y'all know who I'm talking about, right here. Y'all know who I'm talking about. And I was like, at first, I'm like, why are they doing this? You know. But then it started to make sense with me why they had to kill him off. You know, and I was sad, man. He didn't deserve that. He went to the club. He didn't deserve none of that. But I was like, damn. I was like, I understand why Raquel had him killed. But I was like, at the same time, I'm like, damn. Damn, you ain't had to do that. So, yeah, let's just say, I, I, like, I'll like i put more videos out on uh, episode three and stuff later on when I'm going to like more of a deep dive. I just wanted to do like my little quick thoughts and stuff like that. But I would say I'm definitely, definitely intrigued on Power Book 3. I think so far, this is the best thing that's came out of power. I'm, I'm going to say it. Hot take, whatever. But I feel like this is the absolute, at least the first few episodes, the best thing we have gotten so far. Even their, even the filler episodes are really good to me. So, I want to know you got thoughts on this down below. Y'all first time finding my channel, hit the subscribe button. I have a lot of power videos coming out. I, I'm going to go a little bit deeper on this episode in a little later video. Um, but with saying that, hey, we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.